Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. A senior day with a little extra on the line for the SEMO football team Saturday. Jess Todd reports. Saturday marks senior day oh! for a dozen Red Hawks. But the number of veterans on this team extends far beyond that number. A group that's earned two OVC championships and three FCS playoff appearances. Have elevated the program. They've brought consistency to the program. One of the proudest things that I think the program made is we're relevant. You know, we've had some really good game days here. It's, you know, Southeast Missouri game day, not just Cape or whatever. So I think that without them, I don't think we have those type of crowds and excitement about SEMO football. Starting from a special connection. We all just came in knowing that we had a mission together and we made a bond that would never be broken. Like knowing that we're always here for each other even when football's over with. It was before this when it got tore down and now it's this. And you know, it's, no, it's my last time playing here, man. I'm just trying to live it up. Just kind of remembering that we built this and uh, just got to be proud of what we've done so far and what we're going to finish doing. Three straight wins to end the season would bring another conference title to Cape. The first test this weekend, hosting Robert Morris. We in a must-win type of situation. Got to get it done. Got to figure it out and find a way. I think it's probably the coolest part about it is that we have to win out, so it just makes the story a lot better. Quite the final chapter for these upperclassmen, having to find a way once again. It's very SEMO of us. Keep this thing moving, keep this thing pushing, and everybody's happy. You'd rather have it any other way? No, sir. No, I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. At Hawk Stadium, Jess Todd. Heartland Sports. All right, SEMO will host Robert Morris at 1 p.m. Saturday on Senior Day. You would expect a, another big crowd. Meanwhile, talking some Saluki football, 10th-ranked SIU plays host to 9th-ranked South Dakota in the Missouri Valley Conference. Meanwhile, the Coyotes are 4-1 and one in the league, tied for second place at Saluki's 3-2, and two, tied for third kickoff set for 1 p.m. at Saluki Stadium. Women's College Soccer, SEMO's Sophia Elfrink and Kayla Corner earned second team OVC honors. Red Hawks freshman Justy Nelson makes the all newcomer team. High school soccer, tough end of the season for Saxony Lutheran. They lose by a shutout to Afton. Also a Bayless win, so it's Bayless and Afton obviously in the championship game. Well, the Texas Rangers trying to win their first World Series title tonight at Arizona, and it has ended. Just can't use the highlights just yet, but five to nothing. Texas uh, wins it. It was a great pitching performance uh, most of the way by Arizona, but uh, Texas, uh, really, they broke through and they never slowed down. Congrats to the Rangers. They win that series 4-1 and, again, their first World Series title. So, on World Series night, what are some Heartland baseball players doing to get better in the offseason? The answer, a lot. At the Balls and Strikes facility in Cape Girardeau, they're working overtime on mobility and strength. The main thing we're getting in here is getting stronger. We're getting more mobile, you know. Flexibility is a big thing here, just working on our core a lot, our lower half, just getting stronger for the baseball season, getting ready. Real important off season is where you make the most improvements and just helps when it comes spring. Um, tonight and just like every night we're in here, we're trying to create that base um, for them going into um, the next season, whether it be the spring or the summer. Um, we want to really focus on their mobility okay, and strength and to um, push those fast switch muscles as good as possible. Balls and Strikes has certainly a long list of success stories over the years as they continue to help a lot of the younger players develop.